Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Before we begin studying the Word of God, let's have a word of prayer. Father in heaven, we come in your presence this day to seek thy face. Thank you so much for this time that we could come into your presence. Please grant us the Holy Spirit. May the Holy Spirit take control of our lives. May we be able to be taught by the Holy Spirit this day. Thank you so much for this time. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. My name is Thompson Parikal. And today we are going to study an incident from the Bible which is recorded in three Gospels. And the topic is the bleeding woman, her last chance. Oh, we all are familiar with this story, right? But this we are going to study a little bit. This is found in Matthew chapter 9 verses 20 to 22. Mark chapter 5 verses 25 to 34. And it's found in Luke chapter 8 43 to 48. I'm going to read from the book of Mark. Mark chapter 5 verses 25 to 34. Please join with me. If you have a Bible with you, Please look in for yourselves. 25th verse, it says, And a certain woman which had an issue of blood 12 years. What, what, what's the meaning of it? What do we understand from it? This woman was suffering for 12 years. Let's see what she did. 26th verse. And had suffered many things of many physicians. And had spent all that she had. And was nothing better. But rather grew worse. What do you understand? What do you learn from this? She was sick for 12 years. And then it says as any other human being. Just like you and me. She had little money. And she decided to go to one of the best doctors in town. So that she could be healed. But the Bible records. On purpose the Bible records. Mark chapter 5 verses 26. It says. And had suffered many things of many physicians. And had spent all that she had. And was nothing better. But rather grew worse. Brothers and sisters. She did not get better. It says. In fact she grew worse. As I visit hospitals in Pune, I meet with people in the hospital who have spent 5 lakhs, 35 lakhs, 1 crore and they are waiting that they might be better. But things are getting worse. Hold on. There is good news for each and every one of us. Let's see the 27th verse. When the money was gone and the doctor sent her home and she was completely weak and frustrated with what had happened to her somebody told her the good news 27th verse it says when she had heard of Jesus came to the press behind and touched his garment what do you understand someone told her that Jesus is passing by there is hope for you Brother and sister, if you are in the hospital and you are struggling and you are thinking that I am not getting better. Today is your chance, your last chance perhaps to meet with Jesus. What this woman did, you can do. And it says here, she touched his garment. In the 28th verse, it says, for she said, if I may touch but its clothes, I shall be whole. What she decided to do? There was a huge crowd walking along with Jesus. All the men folk of the town were with Jesus. How will this woman go in front of Jesus and tell that I am having this bleeding issue, this woman's lady's problem for 12 years? She did not know what to do. But she had an idea. She had a plan. And what was the plan? She decided that if I just go and touch the garment of Jesus. In another place it says the hem of Jesus' garment. 
I shall be made whole. Oh, brothers and sisters, today is your chance to touch Jesus with the hands of faith. Let's see what happens. And it says in the 29th verse, please, please look into your Bibles. It says straight away, the fountain of her blood was dried up and she felt in a body that she was healed of that plague. That's the good news. When you touch Jesus with the hands of faith, you can be healed physically. You can be healed mentally. You can be healed spiritually. There can be complete or whole healing when you meet with Jesus. But that doesn't end up there. We see something else coming up. 31st verse. 30th verse says, And Jesus, immediately knowing it himself, that virtue had gone out of him, turned him about in the press and said, who touched my clothes? So Jesus is walking in this crowd and suddenly Jesus stops and he says, somebody has touched me. And you know what? He looked around to see who had done this thing. You know what? The disciples were walking with Jesus. There was a huge crowd walking with Jesus. But they did not get that touch what this woman got. Oh, what lessons do we learn? We say we are walking with Jesus. We might be going to church to meet with Jesus. We might be going to different places to meet with Jesus. But today we learn a lesson, a very important lesson. Do you touch Jesus with the hands of faith like this woman? Or are you like the disciples? who are walking with Jesus and not getting that touch which this woman received. And it says here, when the woman, fearing and trembling that what was done in her, came and fell down from him, before him, and told him all the truth. And 34th verse says, and he said to her, daughter, thy faith has made thee whole. Go in peace and be whole of thy plague. What, what do we learn from this? Jesus on purpose stopped in the middle of that big crowd. He stopped to recognize someone who touched him with the hands of faith. Because he wanted to show the disciples. Oh, I'd like to read to you from Luke. Amazing what Luke writes here. Please listen to this. It says here, Peter, who is bold enough, when Jesus says, who touched me? Peter says, Master, the multitude throng thee and press thee and says, who touches you? Mind you, Peter is walking with Jesus. The disciples are walking with Jesus. But they do not receive the touch of faith. The full throng was there with Jesus. Many of the multitude were walking with Jesus. But they did not receive healing. But this woman received healing. That's the good news. Today, let us touch Jesus with the hands of faith. Let us not be like the disciples who were walking with Jesus and saying, yeah, we know Jesus very well. But they did not receive power from Jesus. But this woman who was helpless, who had nothing else but faith, she touched the hem of Jesus' garment and she was healed. May you and I touch Jesus with the hands of faith. As we journey from today on, we are going to teach you how your faith can increase in Jesus. God bless each and every one of you.